Hello YouTube, this is Runner. With a quick look at my portal based slime farm that I've built on my survival server on a hemisphere server. It's built in my parameter and uses autocrafters to compact the output. Because we use the experimental data pack with the 121 feature, it's a data pack provided by Mojang that will allow you to integrate the autocrafter and all of the new copper blocks in a 120.4 or 120.5 server. There's nothing revolutionary about the farm. But you still might want to see which components I have pieced together. MD has done a fantastic video on portal based slime farms, so please check out that video. Of course, the easiest slime farms that you can build are in a swamp. And do check out MD's video on the swamp slime farms. But basically, you have iron golems attracting slimes and they are killed on magma blocks or lured into portals. And such a farm like this can be built fairly rapidly. At a size of 50 by 50, it will give on average maybe 20,000 slime balls or maybe 25,000. It depends on the moon phase, of course. So, this was my starter slime farm before we had the crafter. But in the perimeter, you can achieve much higher rates, higher by one order of magnitude. Here, I used three slime chunks, and the rates are about nine chunks of slime blocks with an auto crafter, or roughly 140k slime balls per hour. With a bit of optimizations that I did in the world download, you can get this up to 12 or 13 sharkers per hour. Now the build is very simple. The real work was in creating the perimeter and breaking the bedrock. I used Desu Desu's bedrock breaking machine for that. And therefore built a spawning platform at y equals minus 64 for best rates. We use portals every third block, which is a recommendation by MD and IceStorm on the NoobTech Discord. Big and medium slimes will immediately go into a portal because they will intersect the portal blocks. Small slimes may spawn between the portals, but they will start jumping in a random direction and very soon enter a portal. And that means that two thirds of the spawning area has a height map of one block and therefore the highest possible spawning rates. While of course every third block has a height map of six blocks and therefore much lower spawning rates. So this setup is actually much better than just portal spam. The NoobTech guys experimented with three blocks between the portals and even though you have a bit better spawning rates, there were more slimes stuck at the bottom taking up the mob cap, which is a much bigger problem now that we can no longer use boat looting. You may reduce this time the small slimes hang around by having iron golems here on the outside, but here there are so few small slimes that I haven't done that, at least not on my survival server. Note that the rates would improve quite a bit if you would break more bedrock and make the area larger because of the additional pack spawns. But of course I thought about this too late when I had already broken the first two layers or so. But I will fix that in the world download. Now talking about bedrock breaking, you don't have to. But slime farms are perhaps the one type of farm where it makes the most sense because they work with light. Now look at the creeper farm over here, which I covered in the past video. There we need a roof to block out the light and have the spawning space at the bottom. So we necessarily have a height map of four blocks. And that means only one out of four spawning attempts succeeds here. But in this case, lowering the spawning platforms by five blocks means we get five times higher rates. Now, if you're confused about all that height map stuff, the cliff notes are that for slime farms, you'll have perhaps triple the rates or better by breaking bedrock. While for most other farms, like creeper farms over there, you'll just about double them. I will link a video by Logical Geek Boy and Methods explaining the spawning algorithms in detail in the description. The killing chamber is my own design. Due to recent changes, we can no longer use boat looting with slime farms. So I just dropped them on cobwebs, which is totally my go-to design for a killing chamber. Mobs will stay there long enough to be killed. The drops fall through into a water stream or in the nether on slime pushers. And the player hits the slimes with an armor stand and is perfectly safe here. We group the slime balls to stack, but we also prevent that the slimes get out of the killing chamber because there will be one high, so we have only a half a block gap here. Unfortunately, in release 120, boat looting is no longer possible because of changes to the boat mechanics at the height of the mobs sitting in the boats, so the drops will end up on the boats. 
I know the guys on the NoobTech Discord are working on a new solution for that, but until then I'll use the simpler kill chamber and drop the mobs on Cobweb, and if we get a new version of boat looting just replace this part of the farm here and enjoy the higher rates. And then the slime is pushed over 12 double speed filters here, and all of these filters go directly into droppers. Three slicers feed into one autocrafter, and both the crafters and the droppers are powered by an observer clock running at double hopper speed and triggered by this pressure plate here and the pulse extender. So whenever items come in, we will run the autocrafters. So the slime balls are immediately crafted to blocks and go into a shaker box loader. This farm is not really up against the mob cap yet, so it would be possible to increase the rate by a bit by adding more spawning platform. No spawns at all fail because the mob cap is full. So you could push the rates easily to 200k or maybe 250k with this setup. But I'm quite happy with this farm because how much slime do you really need? If I AFK here for a couple of hours, I probably have slime for the next year. In the back of the portal, we use boats with chickens or other mobs to push the slimes out of the portal. The portal elevator is just taken from MD slime form as well. All big and medium slimes are killed and the small slimes climb up the scaffolding, try to get to the iron golem and go into the portals. Both portals link to the killing chamber. Uh, a second player loads in the slimes so that they spawn and you can see what's going on. And you can see this is the portal elevator for my creeper farm and the sorting system for my quarry is nearby. The world download has a few optimizations. First, we use an iron golem to lure the slimes faster out of the portal. I don't think it's much of a difference, but maybe a small one. The water streams are a bit more streamlined. And we use a lossless shaker box loader by Glotz that was presented by DocM77 in Hermitcraft recently. It's still a very simple design, but it's lossless, so there's no chance of the shaker box getting lost when it's broken. We are starting to push a bit against the mob cap, but we could increase the rates a bit more. The rates in the setup are a bit over 20k or 180k slam balls. And we are starting to push up a bit against the mob cap, but not that much. So I guess you could maybe get 10 or 20% more rates with this very simple setup. Perhaps 25k slime blocks or 220k slime balls. So if you already have a perimeter, then this is a very fast build. At least if you don't want to break bedrock. So all you have to do is to build a few spawning portals and a few spawning spaces on top of bedrock. The little elevator in the nether a few item filters, a few crafters and a shaker box loader. I'd say you can do that in under two hours if you follow a light medica. And even if you build this on bedrock, you will have plenty of slime. If you don't want to break bedrock, I suggest you use maybe six to seven slime chunks to get a few more spawns. If you break bedrock, and if you are more clever than I am and use pack spawning optimizations so you break a bit more, then three or maybe four slime chunks will be enough to use pretty much all of the mob cap. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos and see you next time. Bye bye!